Good morning. Well, good morning for me. It's 3.15 in the morning, and I got myself an energy drink. Hold up. It's 3 a.m., and I forgot the hook. So here it is. If you are brand new to 3D printing and you're looking at a fantastic machine, well, we're going to answer a whole bunch of questions. If you already are into 3D printing and you either want or have a bamboo lab machine, then I'm going to compare them and I'm going to answer a bunch of questions about the brand new machine, the P1S, that was just released. Okay, back to the story. I was laying in bed and uh, I was sitting there thinking uh, about some of the questions that we've been getting or that I've been getting about uh, bamboo and uh, their three machines, the P1P, the P1S, the brand new P1S, and the X1 Carbon. And the P1S was released or announced on Thursday. Ours arrived on Friday, this, la this past Friday. And we unboxed it live on Twitch. Had a wonderful time. Great, great show. You should go watch it. Then we released a video on Monday about the P1S. Kind of like a first look introduction. But with that video, it just left a lot of questions unanswered. And a lot of people sent questions. I think I got probably on across all the platforms, probably got 80. I wouldn't say 100. I wouldn't go as far as to say 100, but I would say at least 80 questions with people asking, is the X1 Carbon irrelevant? Is the P1P worth buying? Is the P1S the best buy? Is the P1S just the P1P with an enclosure? Well... Let's answer those questions. Let's start out by going over the machine. Bamboo has one machine. It's a Core XY machine. Um, same build volume, same shape, same motion system, different trim levels. The lowest level or entry level trim level is the P1P. And it doesn't come with an enclosure. It's missing a couple of little convenience features, um, but other than that, it comes in at a price point of $599. And uh, that's a fantastic price point, I think, to be able to get into the bamboo ecosystem and to get a high-speed Core XY machine that can produce, well, effectively, the same print results as the top-tier machine, the X1 Carbon. And that one retails for about $1,199. And that one has an aluminum enclosure, it has LiDAR, quite a bit more convenience features touchscreen. Now, there's a new one just introduced right in the middle, well, lower middle, for $6.99. And this one was just announced on Thursday, this last Thursday, and that is the P1S. And it's an enclosed version of the P1P. $5.99 P1P, $6.99 P1S, $11.99 X1 Carbon. Those are your price points. Now let's talk about features and let's compare them and then let's answer all the questions. The P1P retails for $599. It has the same build volume, 256 millimeters cubed that the rest of the trim levels have. 500 millimeters per second print speed like the rest of them. It has a printable enclosure which is kind of cool so we've seen some fantastic custom enclosures that people can download the STLs for and they can print and be super creative. No door sensor, of course, because it has no door. Steel extruder gears and a steel nozzle. Not hardened steel, but just steel. A max heated bed build temperature of 100C. And, and of course, it has the same hot end temperature of 300C, like all the other trim levels. It has a 720p camera and no LiDAR sensor. Of course, auto bed leveling, like you'd expect, and uh, has a micro SD card reader. Now let's look at the P1S. The P1S retails for $699. Incredible price. Bamboo, that was genius. Same 256 millimeter cube build volume, same 500 millimeter per second print speed. Plastic enclosure, but it's a little bit darker than uh, than the aluminum one. It's got this beautiful charcoal, rich charcoal look to it. I, I really kind of prefer that. Glass front door, no door sensor, and it has steel extruder gears and hot end, just like the P1P. So not hard and steel, but you can upgrade. Heated bed max temperature of 100C, just like the P1P. Dogs are barking. 720p camera, no LiDAR sensor, and it doesn't have the neural network processing units like the X1 Carbon. It has an activated carbon air filter. The P1P does not, it's optional. 
and it has uh, auto bed leveling of course it has the micro sd card reader and just like the p1p the p1s has the 2.7 inch uh, interface now i found it weird that all of the content that i've seen everyone who's taken a look at the p1p or even the p1s up to this point has a problem with that with that small monochrome interface i don't i think it's simplistic i think it it's budget friendly, it keeps the price low, and uh, it's simple to use. I mean, up, down, left, right, a little bit of screen, back button. And besides, you're gonna be using Bamboo Slicer likely to upload prints and manage. So I, I think it was kind of a strange argument to kind of be picking on that little interface. It, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's simple and inexpensive. Now here's the X1 Carbon. The X1 Carbon retails for $11.99. And I think that price point puts it at that premier level where I still believe that people are going to buy this because of the advanced features and because it's the top tier machine. It has the same 256 millimeter build volume that you're going to have on all the machines. 500 millimeter per second speed, print speed. Aluminum enclosure, glass front door, has a door sensor, hardened steel extruder gears and hardened nozzle. Those come stock. Heated bed max temperature of 120 C. So that's 20C more than the P1P or the P1S. And it has the same hot end, so 300C for the hot end. It has a 1080p camera inside the chamber, and it does have a LiDAR sensor. Now the LiDAR sensor is what's gonna be used with the neural network to achieve that perfect first layer, the flow calibration, the first layer inspection. That's where the AI is really gonna come into play. So that's a feature that really sets the X1 Carbon apart from the other two trim levels. It has the same activated charcoal fi air filter that the P1S has, auto bed leveling of course, and it has four gigabytes of embedded flash storage that the others don't have, and of course it has an SD card reader. And the big visual difference is the five inch touchscreen. Uh, it is a nice touchscreen, it is, it's, it's nice, I enjoy it, I like it. And of course, uh, all of them, because it is Core XY, they do have input shaping and input shaping is really the critical component to these Core XY machines, which gives them the speed and the great results. And if you don't know what input shaping is, let me first explain to you what Core XY means. So Core XY is a motion system where at any given point on the X and Y plane, when the print head or the tool head moves in any given direction, there's two motors that are working in tandem for that motion. Uh, unlike some of the machines over here behind me, each axis has its own motor. So there's one motor for the X, one motor for the Y, and one motor for the Z. Well, in a Core XY uh, configuration, when it moves on the X and Y, there's two motors that are moving that in any given direction. So even if it's linear or across the, in the X direction, it's two motors that are doing that. And that gives you speed and it gives you accuracy. Now, with speed, you get some vibration, you get some resonance, and you have to be able to find a way to cancel that out. And so what happens is input shaping is where they use a, an accelerometer. And the accelerometer basically measures the internal natural resonance or vibration of the machine. And then there's an algorithm that cancels that out in the motion system. And uh, We'll see if we can't link in the in the description below uh, to a video which very clearly shows how that works. So look in the description below for that video here on YouTube. It's fantastic. It's like 15 seconds and it will show you exactly what input shaping is and how, how effective it is. It's 4 a.m. now, but let's get to the questions. The number one question I was asked, is the X1 Carbon irrelevant now that the P1S is released because the machine effectively I mean it looks like the X1 carbon I I think the answer to that is no and I'm gonna be honest with you besides the features that we just talked about besides the lidar um, besides the uh, the neural network processing unit uh, besides it coming standard with the hardened steel extruder gears and hardened steel nozzle the X1 carbon is still the top trim level it's still the premier machine. It's a status symbol. And I, I know that's weird to say in 3D printing, but it's true. 
right? So we can't ignore the fact that, that people buy the high-end trim levels uh, when they can afford them. And it's going to be the same in 3D printing. It's the same reason that some people prefer other brands in 3D printing over other brands, uh, because they are status symbols. We're, you know, we're not blind to that. Um, so I think that the X1 Carbon is still going to be the top tier machine. It has sophisticated uh, sensors, and I think we'll see more sensors like that in 3D printing. At least I hope we will. Um, ultimately, more sensors to give feedback for dynamic printing is where I would love to see 3D printing going. And I think it's great to see that Bamboo has that with the X1 Carbon. To answer that question, is the X1 Carbon irrelevant because the P1S is an enclosed machine and much less expensive? No, I don't think so. Next question is, will the P1P continue to sell now that there's a P1S that's enclosed? And absolutely, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The P1P is going to maintain its position as a workhorse printer. I think it's going to continue to be a farm machine, much like Prusa and the Prusa Mini. And the Prusa Mini just turned into a a inexpensive 3D printer to be placed in farms to crank out prints. That's where I see the P1P. The P1P is your entry level machine. It's going to be a workhorse and people are going to put 20 of them, 40 of them in a, in a room and they will just crank out top quality prints. So I think the P1P is, is going to be there forever. Where does the P1S fit in? In my previous video that we did this, this last weekend, I said it had the potential to be Bamboo's hottest selling machine. A machine for $699 that's enclosed. Core XY that prints with the results of the X1 Carbon. I don't think that you can beat that, at least right now with the ecosystem. Now, we have a new machine coming. And I got an email early this morning, well, yesterday morning, from Creality. And I've been talking with them for a while, and they're a fantastic uh, supporter of what we do here on uh, on our channel. And they're sending us the K1. And then after the K1, they're going to send us the K1 Max. And those are going to be fantastic machines, and we're going to compare them. We're going to we're going to compare those machines to the the trim levels of the of the Bamboo Core XY machines. But here's the thing: the AMS. You can't discount the fact that Bamboo has introduced multicolor, multi-filament printing to the masses because the P1P, the P1S, and the X1 Carbon are all compatible with the AMS, and you can link four of them together with the Bamboo Hub and have 16 color prints. That's the ecosystem along with the slicer that I'm talking about that separates them away from King Rune and Creality and Cutie. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm not discounting those other brands. I'm simply saying that the ecosystem that Bamboo has created is just a far more complete ecosystem. It's 5 a.m. now. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Definitely give us a like if you enjoyed this content. And of course, subscribe. We'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I'm off to get some sleep.